is the ITRC, the International Bowling Training and Research Center, which also houses the International Bowling Museum and Hall of Fame in Arlington, Texas, home of the USBC and home of the 2018 USA Bowling Under-12 Team Championships. Today, the Southwest team from Las Vegas takes on Pacific Southwest from California. Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Arlington. Is it, is it Not one of my favorite spares to shoot at, I have to admit. It's a tough one. Sebastian Huffman shot, steps boy. up. He's got all 10 back. Good start for Sebastian. Clutch <laughs> strike right there. Come on, Diego. Set it up. Recently set it up. turned 11 years old. During the win three games and win the U-12 USA Bowling National Championship. Sebastian Huffman just recently turned 11, as we talked about. Just moved to Vegas from Morgantown, West Virginia in the last year. That's a 10 pin. Yeah, he struck his first time up on the left lane. He used a pocket 10 pin, though. You can't hear the coaches urging their players on Jake Peters, PBA Tour Champion that's that's 2013. At. Coaches the Southwest target. team along with Adam Ishman. We told you about Chris Nofuente. He's the coach for the Pacific Southwest team. Kids from Vegas, continue. Great conversion by Sebastian. Clean so far for his two frames. He was fun to meet yesterday. Oh. A lot of personality. Yeah. If there was one person we could have mic'd, he would have been the one. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Diego Hara. Major champion, winner on the PBA 50 Tour as well. It's a pretty good practice company there for Young Sapphire. Yeah, he had the center put out some sport conditions for the players, not told them what it was, and uh, Sapphire has some bragging rights, Mike. She said that she beat you on the sport pattern, so <laughs> take that back with you. If you're listening, Michael. Here's Sebastian. <laughs> Clean for his three frames, strike the first time up, nine spare next time, and pack 10 pins back in the pit on that delivery. He's your 10th frame bowler. He's going to finish it out. Possible score of 150 total for a max score for the Southwest team. Just getting started. Best out of five, game one. USA Bowling Championships here in Arlington. Sebastian has hit. His mom drove 1,200 miles from Vegas to here in Arlington. It's a long trip. They've been here for over a week for the competition and finals. Sebastian, looking good. All 10 back into the pit. The commitment the families make for these bowlers to have success yeah. is remarkable. Exactly, Dave. Let's look at Sebastian's four-step approach. Gets the ball a little bit away from his body. Really powerful young man. Ball looks maybe a pinch heavy for herself, but as you can see, he really drives through the shot. He said last night he was the leader. A little, little conflict between who was the leader of the team, but he's definitely a finisher. Let's see, Dave, if there's 3,800 participants and each bring two parents apiece, that's at least 7,600 people. At that's least, a plus all the siblings and cousins and grandmas who are here. I mean, the aunts, aunts and uncles, uncles. It's amazing how many people show up going right at that one-three pocket. Great carry. Target, buddy. Shot, Sebastian. Good Sebastian, shot. the birthday boy. He is All ten back. On fire. On fire. I mean, think about the stats of these players. Last year, these players finished 25th, 47th, 23rd, and 16th overall in junior gold competition. This is what we call a stacked team, Dave. With Sebastian Huffman, he's been pretty key for this team so far. He sure has. Clutch bowling so far. it up. Crunches 10 back into the pit. That's a very confident 11-year-old boy right there. So is it, what's the key to get your ball to listen? Well, I can't do that. <laughs> I, I just saw you do that. Oh, that was good. That was good. Here's Ethan. Okay. 1-2-0-2 score. Southwest needs spare eight. Mark and eight pins to win. 
And Sebastian has been so clutch today. Oh dear. Trying to keep that up right Cross. here. Cross over. Right. Almost had broken strike. Six pin stand. That's it. That's a good break. That is a good break. His first Thank not really great shot of the event so far. Just needs to cover the pin. You heard Jake Peters, the coach, say, oh dear. <laughs> that could have been big trouble. Just late in the game. Despair. Mr. Clutch. You hear Coach Jake fill it up. Adam to the side needs eight pins to win game number two. Seven is a tie. You get a half point each for that in the match score. We don't have a roll-off, just a half a point. Yep, carries through for eight for the win, games. seven for the tie. What's he got? He's got ten. He's got a win for the Southwest team. 205-202. And we are all square at one game apiece in the best of five. Over there. For his spare, so many accolades already as a 12-year-old. It's impressive. Yeah. Up steps Sebastian. Big fan of PB3, Parker Ball III, who's in the house oh here today. He's going right at that head pin. And that's a baby split, will be 10. I'm watching the lanes break down a little bit, Dave, and I can definitely see on the left lane how, how much the ball picks up or slows down sooner. It really starts to change direction. So these young gentlemen will have to make some moves. He chooses the lefty as his favorite pro bowler. I like that. That's a rarity for right-handers. Huh? That's a good point. 3-10, baby split. A lot to cover. Won't get the three. So an open frame. Sebastian would love to bowl at Wichita State one day, maybe, or Weber International. Down in Florida, not far from Orlando. Two powerhouse programs. Yeah, he wants to be a police officer or a teacher. USA Bowling U12 Team Championship event here on CBS Sports Network. Fun to watch these great young bowlers in action. Sebastian Huffman. The kids from Vegas. Continues a great day. Big shot. He's only had one open frame so far in all of his performances. Sebastian, though. Clutch 10th frame bowler there, 147 in the ninth frame. Max score of 177. So Pacific Southwest just needs eight pins on that first ball if Sebastian strikes out. We'll see how he does here. Game three, match tied, 1-1. Pocket, I'll send back again for Sebastian. 177. He's making Pacific Southwest at least show up in the 10th frame with some good pin count. Come on. Big fan of James Harden and the Houston Rockets. His favorite subject in school is math. I'd like to get the numbers. Here for a rally, late, and getting three, strikes again. Nicely done, Sebastian. Now, if I'm reading the score right, Dave, I'm pretty sure they just need eight pins here. Really controlling his entry angle, his launch angle. But the man to talk about, Sebastian. Almost a big four. All right, get the wood. Four, six, seven. You want this Coach Jake me? Peters. Let's get two pins. No. Sebastian just turned 11 years old during this event, so these are young guys and girls doing so well. I mean, the pressure they're facing for 11, 12-year-old kids is remarkable. Ah. 
I went to bowling camp when I was 12, Dave. That's softball camps. I, I went to a few camps, but never did I imagine bowling on national television at the age of 11 or 12. Consistent. Reading my specto here, 9.3, break point, 8.6. Just really overall tracing each line over and over again. Sebastian has an answer. He's been so impressive. Who gets to go next? Hey. So you get to go next, all right? The 2018 USA Bowling Championships on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Sixlets. For over 50 years, Sixlets has been the fun chocolatey candy brand that everyone loves. By Logo Infusion, the official jersey of USA Bowling. Infuse your game. And by Bowling.com, your one-stop bowling shop.